a bit of a surprise that Mario Balotelli appears on this list, but it does show what kind of impact he made once he moved back to AC Milan in the January transfer window. I've always thought Balotelli was vastly overrated, but you can't argue that he's been exceptional since his move from Manchester City to Milan. He seems a lot happier with his football now. Doesn't seem to react as much to silly little things going on around him. I rate him highly as a player, you know. The only thing with Mario, he probably needs to be a bit more consistent with it. But Mario's got the ability to win a game on his own. So and you don't get that many players that can actually do that. He seems to have grown up. He seems to have uh, taken on that bit more responsibility now that he's, that he's, with, that he's with Milan. As for his off-field um, antics, he'll grow up. He's 21, 22, so he'll grow up and, and he'll grow out of that. Is it possible that one match can make a player's career? If so, it could be Robert Lewandowski. Well, Lewandowski had his, his coming of age performance against Real Madrid in the Champions League. When he scored four goals against Real Madrid, you know, he really, I think people knew him from, from previous World Cups playing for Poland, but they'd never really seen him play as well as this. He's probably got this position in the pole thanks to his four goals against Real Madrid in the semi-final Champions League, but it's been far more than that for him. Although he scores a lot of goals, Lewandowski isn't just a poacher. He's very effective outside the box, bringing his colleagues into play with sublime first touches and little passes around the corner. Tall, gangly, um, great, great finisher, and again, probably 40, 50 million pounds, wherever he decides to go, but a top-class centre forward. The best piece of transfer business Man United have done in the last five, six, seven years was to sign Robin Van Persie from Arsenal. I think it would be very hard to argue against the assertion that Robin Van Persie was the single most important player for United in their title winning campaign. A great striker, uh, last season probably had uh, the best season of his life. His ability brought a lot to Man United, his ability, his, uh, his, off, his running, his goals. Fantastic left foot, can whip in free kicks when he, when he wraps his foot around that ball. It's very, very uh, hard for goalkeepers to, you know, to, to stop it, really. It's about getting in the right positions, your movement off the ball, and he's got great movement, because you see him with some of the goals, especially when he was at Arsenal, and even the one where Rooney played it over the, over the top. A great centre-forward for me, brilliant. Will the world of football ever see another goal scorer the calibre of Lionel Messi? I don't think so. The everything and what he does, Every single game, every season, Messi the best player in the, in the history of football. It's, 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 it's unreal, you know, and he'll go on to beat more and more and more and more records because you can only see him getting better and better. An unbelievable goal scorer, um, small, very difficult to mark, brilliant finisher. At the age of, what, 25, he's beaten records. He's still got another eight more years left to play, probably even longer. He scored 60 goals last season, but that's almost become the norm for Messi. Lionel Messi should have been the winner of the forward pole. He scored 60 goals in all competitions, and that's despite missing a period towards the end of the campaign through injury. He broke record after record after record once again, and I just think that people are just taking Messi for granted. Could it be that our readers remembered his poor performances in the Champions League? They shouldn't. He should have won. <laughs> There's an argument that Messi could have won, but how can you argue with Ronaldo? Superb player. If anybody's good enough to top Messi in their pool, it's Ronaldo. Left foot, right foot, header, he can do absolutely everything and, and anything on the football pitch. Well, there's nothing this lad can't do. You know, he can do everything on a football pitch. You know, he can head the ball, he's quick. He's got the physique, he's got the speed, he's got the technique. He can shoot, he can take players on, he can take free kicks and he's just an all-round wonderful talent. He looks after himself, he, he eats well, he trains well, he, he plays well, everything he does is great. So uh, what more can you ask for? One of the best best footballers in the world. Uh, and there's the proof that he's done it perfectly for, and for the Premier League and the Spanish League. But it's all said and done and the greatest players of all time have been assessed. Cristiano Ronaldo has got to be somewhere near the top of that list. For Man United and for Real Madrid, He's emerged as one of the most consistent goal scorers and one of the most relentless forces in European football.